natural tapping of the feet is not what we follow in Bharatanatyam. Pointing the feet, lifting it and then placing it back to Samapadam is very essential. So whenever the walking steps in Bharatanatyam is done, a nuanced understanding is very relevant. A slight dip should be there in the movement. When the leg is placed in the forward, the heel of the back leg is lifted up and subsequently forwards. So this is a very ideal position where pointing and placing of the feet is done. The word swastika means cross here either in the front or the back of the other stationary feet. When it's swastika, the knee of the feet is supposed to be facing towards the opposite side of the cross without an angular feet. The feet is expected to be placed completely perpendicular to the floor with the alignment and position as shown. Swastika is also done in Aramandi in many of the Adavus like Natadavu and Mardi Tadavu. We begin with the Katakamukha Hasta and Samapadam and extend for the angles. The most common mistake that beginners make is about the placement of the hand. Generally, a 45 degree angle to the perpendicular is ideal to maintain the diagonal. The Alapadma Hasta should not be restrained at the wrist for the aesthetics and the correct alignment of the position. The diagonals form an X-like arrangement and independently also, the extension is focused with the side bend and eyes directed on the Hasta. Whenever the leg is lifted, the tendency to keep the feet straight or diagonal is very common in beginners. It is necessary to understand that the fundamental aesthetic involves the toe to be pointed. When the feet is lifted, the toes are not freely suspended and the knees are aligned in the side. It is also similar to the positions where the feet is placed above the other leg as shown. The back is supposed to be erect without any bends or distortion. Generally, in Aravus and movement variations, the Yatohasta Stato Drishti rule is followed. However, there are many exceptions to following this rule. In most movements, the focus is entirely kept on the Hasta, but in certain movements, Eyes do follow the hasta, but not in its entirety. In this particular position, eyes facing upwards is wrong. The tilting of the head to face the hasta should not be done. The eyes are in summum facing straight. In character representations also, the drishti is faced straight. The common mistake that beginners tend to do is about the torso bends. As shown, the hastas are supposed to be on either side of the feet. In the Anchita Padam, a stretch is expected to be observed in the calf area and the toes are to be raised to 45 degree accordingly. This is also similar to single hand movements. The extension for the stretch of the movements is crucial and the side bends have to be followed as represented. This ensures that the bending involves full effort with the focus on the Hasta. Hello everyone, welcome to Samadhi. In today's lesson, we will see about body conditioning and alignment techniques for Bharatana. So, when we talk about symmetry and we talk about certain positions where we have to be accustomed in Bharatanatyam, it is important that the knees are always straight except when they are in Aramati. You have to continue this as a routine like minimum of 15 to 20 times for you to make sure that you can comfortably sit in this position, come back to your Samapati.